Today we're going to build a waste board for one infinity CNC machine. Hi, hello, I am the Cyber Reef Guru. Thank you so much for watching. Today we are going to build a waste board system for the Onefinity CNC machine. Although you can use this waste board for other machines that may not come with a waste board system. The waste board system that I came up with is very modular, so you can customize it to your specific needs. I happen to have chosen a T-track with a combination of other hold down mechanisms here with this MD. F strips that we have on the table. I also have a couple features that I have not yet implemented on my wasteboard system yet and we'll get to that in just a moment. So what I'd like to do is go ahead and flip over to the computer to show you the design that I came up with and then do a quick montage video of the process I went through to actually build this and then talk about some options maybe for other wasteboard systems that you might want to consider. And then at the end I have a special surprise so please stay tuned all the way to the end of the video. All right let's go ahead and get started. Here we are in Fusion 360 and I am going to walk through that design that I did for my spoil board system. And so I'm going to kind of start bottoms up, show you my design process and why I settled on certain features and facets of my design. Okay, so what you see on the screen here is just simply the outline of my CNC machine, which happens to be the Onefinity Woodworker. So the uh, outside box with the rails shows literally the outside dimensions of the CNC machine itself. On the sides, the left hand side and the right hand side, that is where you have the Y axis. And I have modeled the Z axis as well across the back here. Um, now, obviously, that moves forward and backwards. So if you wanted some sort of precise dimensions, you'd want to model it in the location that you have it. More importantly, however, I have modeled the cut area of my CNC, which happens to be 32 and a quarter inches square. That's in the center here with a kind of X in the middle. That allows me to set up exactly where I want my wasteboard system relative to the cut area of the machine. You don't necessarily need to have a wasteboard or any sort of hold downs outside that cutting area, but there are certain circumstances where it might be desirable to have some ability to attach some hold downs outside the cut area so that your machine is not actually going to run into your clamps or something like this. So let me go ahead and turn on my actual, the main component of the spoil board. What you see here is just a vertical strip that has a variety of holes in it and I will show you what the holes are for in just a moment. And you will notice that the strip is butted up against the cut area in the lower left hand corner of the CNC, but it does not go all the way to the back. The predominant reason for me making it just a little bit shorter is so that I could surface the entire area uh, as well as the machine doesn't really go all the way back that far where you would want materials hanging off the back so it doesn't really make sense so I made the boards an exact 32 inches long rather than a 32 and a quarter it just seemed easier to cut on the table saw let's zoom in a little bit and talk about some of the different hold down options I have included in this spoil board strip so Right here off the bat on the bottom, this hole on the bottom is one of the hold downs where it actually is held down into the desk, which I will show in just a minute. Next to that is a three quarter inch hole for some dog holes. So if you wanted to use those for alignment or for other hold down options, you do have that ability here. And then these two holes uh, side by side in between the dog holes are where we're gonna put some more threaded inserts so you can actually screw down into the uh, hold down system and have positive force holding down on your material. And so that pattern is just replicated all the way down the strip, having another hold down in the middle and then another hold down at the end. So in total, there are uh, three hold down locations to really secure your strip down to the desk so it's not going to go anywhere. And then a variety of dog holes as well as quarter 20 hold down possibilities. Now I would say you do not necessarily need to have as many quarter 20 hold downs that I have included here. I'm actually toying with rather than just uh, having them on the side here, it's just putting them in between the dog holes. I do believe having this number of hold downs might provide more options for holding down your material. I'm still a little bit on the fence exactly how I want to go with this, but uh, it's really up to you how you want to customize and configure this. So let's go ahead and then just turn on the desk and the spoil board system. What 
I did is I created this one strip and then I just replicated it across my work surface all the way to the edge of the cutting area on the right hand side. And then I put some T-tracks in the middle here. So the T-tracks are three quarters of an inch wide. And so this is just a strip that is three and three eighths inch wide a T-track, another strip, T-track, yada, yada, yada. Now I did choose to make my strips three and three eighths inch wide uh, so that they are a little bit more close together than maybe the QCW system, which has a seven inch spacing. What I found with the QCW system is there was a little bit too much distance between the T-tracks themselves and the hold down mechanism. So I'm sure I could have put some threaded inserts into the QCW system if I wanted, but I really wanted this configuration. One thing to note about the T-tracks, you can see here I have set them back a little bit and what that is going to allow me to do is actually slide the T-track bolts in from the front should there be something blocking this front edge. And so now is a good time to show the final component of my hold down system and that is this alignment jig that I plan on using. And so it is just a corner unit that you can attach to your work surface or to the spoil board system that will allow you to accurately align your material in the corner uh, for for repeatable operations. And so what you can do is you can pick this up, you place it into either one of the dog holes or one of the quarter 20 hold downs. Uh, that's why it has uh, different hole sizes on the side here. And then what that allows you to do is screw this down and then you have a fixed known location. So if you are batching out a number of projects, say you're doing a bowl or some sort of carving and you wanna make multiple of them, you can put this hole down on the actual spoil board, you have a fixed location that you know where zero is every single time. So you take your material out, put the new material in, you hold it down with your clamps and it is always in the same location. So I think that's gonna be a really, really good addition and allow a lot of repeatability for projects where you have to make more than one. That is the design for my spoil board system. It's fairly straightforward. It's a little complicated with a number of quarter 20 hold downs, but I can certainly reduce those if I want to in the future. I'm gonna cut over now to show you the montage of the build process and what I ultimately ended up with. So let's go ahead and cut over that and then we'll wrap up this video. My build process started with unloading some MDF from the truck and then ultimately breaking that three quarters MDF down into smaller parts that then I could use on the table saw to create the individual strips required for the hold down system. So here I am running the strips through the table saw at that three and three eighths inch width. I cut the 32 inch depths by using a jig here on my chop saw, pretty straightforward. I used the Onefinity CNC itself to actually create the holes for the hold down for the base of the wasteboard system. After the Onefinity was complete, drilling all of the holes, I chamfered the edges and then inserted some quarter 20 threaded inserts. The chamfer was so that the inserts would recess all the way down into the base. Here I am putting the threaded inserts in with a little bit of super glue to make sure that they are held in place permanently. And then I moved over to installing the strips here. I installed the strips, putting a piece of the T-track in so that they have the proper spacing. I will leave links to all the parts that I use for the installation in the comments below. Here I am flattening the wasteboard system the first time. And so what this revealed was some high and low spots using those pencil marks that I put on the strips. So during the second flat flattening process, I found the lowest spot in the wasteboard system, zeroed the CNC on that location, and then reran the flattening process so that I got a perfectly flat system across the board. Here you can see that I have some little corners that were left over due to the way that I flattened it, so I just manually moved the machine to flatten those corners out. Next, I installed the T-Track itself. Uh, some of the locations were a little bit tight, so I did have a little piece of MDF and a hammer that I just pounded them into their final location. Next, I pre-drilled some of the holes just a little bit uh, so that I could install the screws more easily. And then I actually screwed from the back forward so that the strips would uh, flatten themselves so there weren't any bows in the middle whenever I ended up screwing everything together. I vacuumed everything and we we're ready to go. 
During my researching of the wasteboard system, I did discover a lot of additional accessories that are available for the Onefinity, mostly out on Etsy. So if you get the opportunity, please go out to Etsy, type in the keyword Onefinity, and you'll find lots of interesting things. I have some things out there for uh, general CNC work as well as the Onefinity. Uh, ben Myers is a really great wasteboard system as well, and I really like the clamps that he came up with. Uh, Route One Woodworks as well as Rowdy Roman have some really amazing accessories as well for the one infinity so if you're looking for things like drag chains and uh, ways to hold your hose for your dust collection system i really recommend you check them out uh, and if you get the opportunity just tell them i sent you from the video here so i appreciate it Earlier in the video, I mentioned that I had a special surprise for the viewers of this video. And so I have reached out to Ryan from Red Dog Woodcraft, and he has agreed to provide a coupon code to his wasteboard system that he has on his Etsy page. So I have uh, borrowed a few ideas from his design as well as from other folks, and I wanted to give him a little bit of props for the innovation that he used on his wasteboard system. System. So he graciously agreed to provide a 20% coupon, which I will put on the screen here. And uh, if you have the opportunity, if you're interested, you want a wasteboard system for your CNC, highly recommend that you reach out to Ryan or go out to his Etsy page. I will link it below. Pick yourself up some plans and then you're off to the races. All right. I really appreciate your support and I'm sure Ryan will as well. All right, well, that's the video. I hope you really did enjoy it. It was a lot of fun to make, a lot of work in researching it, but I think it turned out really well. Um, if you're not already following me on Instagram, please consider doing so. That's where I post pictures of projects like this to become future videos. If you're not already subscribed, please consider doing so. It really helps the channel out. Click that button, ring that bell. Very important these days. All right, thank you so much for watching the video. Thank you so much for getting this far. And don't forget to be inspired. Well, that was the video. I hope you enjoyed it. It was a lot of fun to make and hopefully you found value in the design process that I followed to get to the wasteboard system. As I mentioned earlier, it is modular. You can customize it to your needs. So it should, sh should shoot. So it should. Sh <laughs> so it's shit. So it should. So it should. Sh sh should suit. So it should suit many different needs of different. Uh, fuck me. <laughs> the <clears throat> during the um, not review during the the research during the research phase.